Hi everybody. So morning anyway. So I'm gonna alter this tea bag holder. So I'm gonna alter this because um, I'm gonna take this to my new house. So what am I thinking is I'm gonna use this paper the has the occasion. So this one made in the US. Look at this paper. I bought a couple of them but never use it. Look at this, that's really pretty. Look at that guys. That's so pretty, the cording there. That is amazing. So I'm going to use this. I'm not sure what color I'm going for. Maybe dark green, maybe. Or black color. Maybe let's do black, what do you think? So, um, not sure should I paint inside or not. Well, you will paint inside, we'll have to do it before we put it together. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to cover all the paper. So So I'm thinking like as you know I like to have the border. So I'm gonna do some painting. I'm pen in Mm, black color is fine. So I'm gonna wear my glove again. I know you guys don't laugh at me <laughs> when I wear this. <laughs> I might emboss this one it to make the word is pop up. I'm gonna wear different side. Well, wear the same side because it's a black color. It may wear a different way. You get different color that I'm painting, but same. Okay. So today after work my husband going to go up there to our property and you know put some mailbox up there he already ordered online he said cheaper than we can you know buy there at the at the town that we're going to live in. You cannot believe that the previous owner took the mailboxes with them. They have two mailboxes. I think I will sand the edges. When I do black color, I like to sand the edges, keep like this just look. That's what I like about black paint.
look even like <laughs> I will get some somehow I will manage to get the ink on myself So this week, I'm gonna go anywhere, guys. I'm tired, sitting in a car, like three and a half hours to get there. I asked Helen what she wanna do this weekend. If you want to go roller skating, she she wanted to go to see. Well, she asked me if I wanna join her. Like, uh, no. <laughs> That's a long drive. Reason I'm not going with my husband this week because I was too tired, sitting in a car, long hours. I know. Even we move up the Centennial and like a sea was still far away from our house, so guys. sand this not sure this is should cover with the paper because this all face this way we're not gonna see it anyway. Not sure should I pen it or cover with the paper. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Don't have to paint it either. Mm. Just paint it, it make it neat, right? If you haven't watched all my video about my new property, you can go check it out. I have my new channel. I know I have. Uh, not sure why I'm doing this, but. You haven't watched Cody video it was so funny. <laughs> like mommy your problem is really messy, ladies. <laughs> you have everything there and there. Oh laughing so hard. He embarrassing mommy. <laughs> So that one I'm gonna cover the paper, right? So on this one going to be this inside and outside. So I don't know that we're going to keep him um He, um, Cody swimming lights and I know guys.
he not there yet? I'm not sure it could help. I don't see him any progress lately. So I'm a little bit worried. I think on this side I'm gonna cover with the paper guys. Because you look at this side, you can see the angle of the hip uh, inside, so... I'm gonna have to um, turn off this camera and come back later after I paint this guy. Okay guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna pick the paper. Which one should I use inside, outside? Mm -hmm. Maybe I wish to use this black color. It's not really black though, like a dark green. I think Cody will have problem with seeing a my lip is pretty good. A dark color like a uh, dark red, he will see like black. A dark darker green, he will see black. But it doesn't center. So I'm kind of a little concerned. My husband said, don't worry, but he's still worried anyway. So I'm going to use this one. Well, we have to think with P, uh, with P, uh, that piece go where, you know. So like this on the back, I might use this one. You know, I should clean this the white paint here because it now gets stuck all my black paint. I should know better than that. Did I get this one already? It will take me a little while to get you to my schedule coding video and stuff guys. So I will be sent for this. I'm making like a border so everything has to be a quarter inch round shorter than the measurement up here from this point to here oh to here well it depends on inside and outside it's different me measurement but I'm going to use my sandpaper here sand all this the pen. See that it gave me this just look. If you have been watching my video, you can see that when I every time when I do a black, black paint, I like to use the sand paper or whatever you got. Just you know, sand it so it gets some 
hand up and be careful with this small hour bit that you might want to break you might break it but this is so cool I love it babe. I don't think this will this pocket can take me that long to make I'm gonna make the sample really simple as I can because this one is for the guest house I wonder what should I do with the guest house you know? well I just you know put it my out of my stuff and show the guest house too that's so cool I love it guys I love this sand look this one doesn't matter it's, it's high it's gonna be high inside but I wanna stand it anyway It's look pretty cool, I love it. Oh, I might have to sand it again when I use like a mod podge pen. Oh, this one look really cool, I love it. Oh, you guys welcome to use any of my technique. I don't mind because if I don't want to share everybody, I wouldn't be on YouTube. Okay. So I'm going to, this is going to be really hard. Well, it's not that hard on the curve like this. Let me, um, we're going to measure this point to this point first. Let's see. Um not sure where my measuring my lula goes it used to have my lula up here not sure where it's go but i'm gonna use it's going right here then so this is about five and a half the link from here right so because i wanted to have a border that's why i paint that pin uh the black acrylic pin around it so this one will be a five and a quarter because remember one eighteen around so just cut like a quarter short square so and this side it look like uh, three and a half or on the middle of this one so it's like a 11.16 to me hmm anyway so it's not almost half but not half so let's see I'm gonna show you how you guys can make the curve like this just cut the paper which one you want to use in the front of your tea holder I'm gonna use this I think I like this one so I'm gonna use that Corner, so I'm gonna cut at okay. This one almost one uh, three and three and a half. So I'm gonna cut three and a quarter. Is not a little bit shorter than three and a quarter. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna grab my cutter here. So this one is about. 3 and 3 16 okay that I'm going to cut okay so you can see that's half the border in the front so now this one is the link here five and a half right remember that I'm gonna cut a, a quarter off so 
I'm going to cut five and a quarter. But remember, this is the curve, so I'm going to be the safe side cut at five and a half. And we're going to cut the curve. So, this one we have to turn this one around. Turn this one up too, because then this one going to be uh, that way. So what you want to do, you want to line up. It make like your border, like you usually do border one and eight. See, and you want to turn around and use your pencil to make that curve. So this curve exactly and this curve, but since I want to have the border, so I'm gonna move this up. Enjoy. You can see that. So now I know that is my paper is the border. So now we can cut. Get you my scissor. Follow the light there. Here we go. See, I'm gonna turn this one over. See that now we get a border on this curve. How easy is that? So that how you do the curve like this one. And for the another piece, you will do the same thing. The one is need to be cut. So I'm gonna do uh, the rest of this piece off the camera, and I will be okay, guys. I'm back. So um. I got all my pieces. I decided to eat only two patterns of paper. The one had the floor, this one, and the one of this. So, I have all my pieces cut and I'm going to mod podge them. So, I just went for this piece. I already discussed the edges with, um, I believe, this. A vintage photo. So I'm using my mod podge here to glue this one. Not sure what am I going to do with on the back here yet. You know what I should do? I hear inside first, not outside. Ah, I forgot. This one is going to be inside of my tea bag. I might alter more than one because I'm gonna do like one at my um, shop and then do one at the house, the new house that we're going to live in. Not really lie up, but it's alright. 
let this one dry and I'm gonna mod podge this to seal this one up. Make sure it is the right piece. Yep, this way. So this one will be my inside piece. I guess I still miss spot paint, huh? I think I need to get some paint or um well paint is when I make sure this one is in spot. So this weekend I don't know what to do with Cody guys. You have any suggestion? Then Cody bed friend gonna go out of town. So it's gonna be me and Cody. Ooh, did I put it wrong? Ah, oh, yes, I think I did. Pin it the wrong side, do it the wrong side. I think it's too late to get this one off now. <laughs> it's alright, so I have to paint it, repaint it. Because this side is supposed to be inside, but it's too late. I think right here, click click there, I think it's the bird. And now I have to do the paint with all the edges here that I need. I think I'm going to adhere this right now. Because this one will be really hard time because this is not even when you try to tear that one and I hear it. So do whatever you are comfortable with, you know. see this one. I'm 
I'll fix some painting a little bit later. It's weekend. Try to let that one air dry. So I will do this off camera and I will be right back. 